It wasn't the alarm clock that woke us up. It wasn't someone that called our name, but it was him that called our name. And so for there, we ought to give him praise and we ought to give him worship. We ought to come in as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto him, which is our reasonable service on today. Amen. I'm going to ask the praise team that they would come. Amen. And before we go into prayer, amen, that we would go into a worship. We would go into worship. We would go into worship. We would go into worship. And somebody ought to say, I need the old. I need. somebody that really means it and say amen that you are I somebody tell them I need you I need thee somebody that really means it tell them right now every Somebody ought to lift up their hands and their voices and say, Oh, bless me. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Somebody say, I come. one more time and then we're going to pray. Somebody say, Lord, I need thee. There you go, from the cell of your soul. Come on, somebody, somebody tell them every hour. Somebody's going to need him before this service is over. Say, oh, Somebody say, oh, bless me now. My as we come before the Lord. Father, we come into this sanctuary on today asking God that you would, Father God, invoke your presence in this house today. Invoke your presence in this place today. Move in this place on today. Come into this tabernacle, Father God. Rest in this house today. Rest in this place today. Have your rest today, God that we might worship you, Father, in spirit and in truth. Father, as we come today to open up our mouths, Lord, we come for praise and we come to worship the only wise and true living God. We ask, Father, that you would move into this tabernacle, this tabernacle that you have rose up this morning, this tabernacle that you have God given breath of life, this tabernacle to where God you allowed us to breathe air again another day God that you gave us the activity of our limbs another day that you gave us the right mind so father I pray that you would come into this tabernacle minister God oh God into this place 
have your way in this house today. Lord, for this body of people, let there be someone today that would open up their mouths and say thank you. Thank you for keeping a roof over our head. Thank you for keeping clothes on our back. Thank you for keeping food on our table. Thank you for keeping, Lord God, sickness away from our bodies. Thank you, God, that you watched over us all throughout the night, God. You didn't allow the thief, the mugger, the robber, the raper to come nigh my dwelling. You didn't allow him to come to my house, God. You allowed my folk, Father God, not to ring last night with an emergency. You allowed us to sleep in perfect peace, Father. You allowed us, Lord God, to allow the ambulance to pass by. You didn't allow the fire truck to come by. And God, we have to say thank you. Because had it not been for your mercy, had it not been for your grace, God, where would we be on today? So, Father, as we come now into this assembly of people, you said in your word, God, where two or three are gathered in your name, that, Father, you would be in the midst, Father. So we come into this place today, and, Father, we gather in your name. We gather in the name that is above a name. We gather in the name to where every knee shall bow, to where every tongue shall confess. We gather in the name of Jesus. We say, have your way in here. Great God, great King, great Deliverer, great Provider. Do it right now, God. Move from the pulpit to the door. Move from side to side. Move from breast to breast. Have your way in this place today. Bless your people today. Let your anointing settle in this house today. And God, break every yoke, God. Break every yoke now, Father God. Break every mindset, Lord God. Incarcerate everything, Father. That's not like you. We come to praise you. We come to magnify you. We come to glorify you. Above our problems, above our circumstances, we acknowledge you for being the God of our Savior, for being our rock, for being our fortress, for being our shield. Anoint this service today. Pour your presence in this house today. Go from pew to pew. Go from seat to seat. And Father, I pray now that you would have your way in this place and break everything, God, that's in somebody's house, God. Break everything that's in marriages, oh God. Break everything over our children on today. Break everything over this nation today. Master your people on today. Oh God, help us right now, Father God. Less of us, God, and more of you. Let your anointed pour heavy on this service. Let there be a word, God, today that will change somebody's life. Let there be a move, God, that will speak to our hearts, speak to our minds. And, Father, that you would get the praise, you would get the glory. Now, God, use every vessel in this place. Use every instrument, God. And, God, that will clap our hands. God, that will come to you, God, and give you praise and give you honor. We come to say thank you. We come to bless you on today. Bless somebody, God, that's in the hospital, God. Bless somebody now that's in a nursing home, God. Bless somebody behind the prison walls, God. Bless somebody that's in a shelter, God. Touch somebody that will walk past here today that they might hear your word and that, God, that you might be glorified. We give you praise today. We give you worship today. We give you honor today. Have your way in this place today. And Father, incarcerate anything that the devil has tried to release over the minds and hearts of your people. We come against oppression. We come against oppression. We come against it now. Father, we speak as David says, creating us on today a clean heart and renew the right spirit. You said if my people who are called by my name would offer themselves and pray and seek your faith, Father, and turn from their wicked ways, you would forgive us of our sin. And Father, you would heal from heaven and heal our land. We speak now, God, in this place today that there shall be deliverance today. There shall be a breakthrough today. There shall be, Lord God, Oh God, a healing today. There shall be right now today a place, Father, to where you will dwell in our hearts. Have your way today. Move today. Do it right now, Father. Do it right now, God. We say thank you. 
We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We excite the God. We stir up the atmosphere that there be nothing, God, that will hinder your move. Fall in this place. Fall in this place. Let signs and miracles follow behind this. And Father, we won't hold nothing back, but we'll give you all the praise. We'll give you all the honor and we'll give you all the glory. Now in Jesus' name we pray. Let everyone repeat after me. Say, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, somebody clap their hands and say amen. Clap your hands and say amen. Clap your hands and say amen. Let's receive the praise sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep on praising him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How many want to be prepared to be a sanctuary? To be pure and holy, tried and true. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Lord, for you. Hallelujah. That we would decrease and the Lord would increase today. Hallelujah. Come on, uplifted hands today. Hallelujah. It's a true worship experience today with the Lord. Come on, let's make it personal. Hallelujah. Let's go to God for ourselves right now. Hallelujah. Let's bring our minds in. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, oh Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure, I know, tried and true, and with thanksgiving. Stop worshiping. Sanctuary. Lord, for you. Come on, everybody, sing it. Praise team. Lord, we come on, worship with that. To be a sanctuary. To be a sanctuary. Pure and holy. Pure and holy. Tried in the fire. Tried and tried. Oh, 
to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, hallelujah. Pure and holy, true and true. Yeah. and true. I will give it.
you've been doing these songs, this but not what you wrote. Hey, here we go. I've been through the storm and the rain, but the blood still stays the same. Whatever's going on, I got my own clothes on. I'm money in a daze, but you can't have my praise. No matter the attacks, I'm gonna take it back. Woo! This means war. Means war. I ain't come to play with you today. Oh, this means war. This means war. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This, this means war. Hey, this means, this means, this means war. I dare you to take back everything that the devil stole this from you. This means, this means, this means war. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. This means war. But you know what? Lord. You can't have my family. I plead, I plead, I plead the blood. Hey, I dare you to. I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead, I plead, I plead the blood. Cause God is the Lord over my life. I plead, I plead the blood. Every tongue that rises against the storm. I plead, I plead the blood. If it's true to believe it, this means more. I dare you to give God your best praise today. This means more. This means, this means, this means more. Come on, put your hands together. Listen, you can't help my family. No, you can't help my increase. Oh, you can't help my praise.
means war. Come on, you tell the devil that it means war. Come on, tell this means war.
tell somebody it still reaches. Y'all don't want to have no real church, but tell somebody it still reaches. Tell somebody next to you, tell them don't hate on hope because I got hope in Jesus. Tell them don't hate because I got hope that my situation is going to turn around for my good. Tell somebody, I know it's messed up, but tell them I still got hope. Y'all not saying nothing in here. Tell somebody, I still got hope. Somebody that's not praising, maybe because you got hate in you, but tell them I still got hope that my son is still going to be delivered. My daughter's still going to be saved. My house is still going to be turned around. Tell them don't hate because I still got hope in the blood. I'm going to give you 60 seconds for those that can still praise him because I still got hope. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to just go ahead and give God praise. still got hope look at somebody and tell them it's not too late it's not too late tell them it's not too late It's not too late. I hear the Lord in this house saying, Get up and still. over at somebody and tell them I know you don't want to touch too many people but tell them neighbor tell them I'm not a hater tell them because I still got hope the only ones amen that don't got hope is the one that is hating because they still looking at you saying how are you still praising him tell somebody because I didn't lose my hope tell somebody He's going to work it out. Yeah, yeah. I still got hope. Tell somebody I still got hope. Still got hope. Still got hope. Tell somebody everything. Tell somebody everything. Everything is going to be all right. Will be all right. Come on, somebody, just praise him right there. Just give him a hand clap. Come on, somebody, just bless you. I still got hope. Tell somebody, I still got hope. Tell him, I'm not hating on you. I still got hope. I don't know about y'all, but tell him, I still got hope. Ow! Woo! I 
I still got hope. Somebody said, why are they shouting and screaming like that? Tell somebody, because I still got hope. That it's going to turn in my favor. I don't know. the church looking for a miracle I still got hope tell your neighbor I'm not giving up on God Somebody ought to encourage someone next to them and tell them, if you knew what I was going through, you would ask me, why am I here? But tell them, I'm only here because I ain't give up on my hope. I still got hope that God's going to turn it around. In fact, tell them, I came out to make a declaration that it's still turning. Y'all don't want to say nothing. I'm going to leave y'all alone because y'all going to mess this one up. Yes, yeah, shut up. Somebody gonna really believe it and really catch a miracle. Somebody gonna really believe it and by the time they get home, that miracle was gonna be at their house. We're gonna leave it alone. We got a preacher in the building already. But I just keep hearing God about that Seraphonician woman. She left her house because she says, my daughter is vexed with a spirit. I just come to ask somebody who want to go home in peace. Y'all not saying nothing to hear. Who want to go home and the thing that they left at their house by the time they get there be gone. Y'all not saying nothing in here. Some of y'all got some bills on the table that y'all keep pushing under. But I said, who want to go home? And the thing that you left there, by the time you get there, everything's going to be. Tell somebody, I'm not hating on hope now. I'm not going to hate on hope. Yes, shut up. Let me, let me leave it alone. We're going to move on. We thank God for his word. On today. Come on, sound man, help me up here. We thank God that we have an absolutely awesome time in this hour to believe him. That by the time you get home, don't you let this atmosphere be charged for you talking about it don't take all that. It takes all of that and then some. Because a Monday can take you out. A Tuesday could really put some pressure on you. By Wednesday, you're ready to throw in the tower. Y'all not saying nothing to me. Tell them Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is just extra added on. But by the time I get here on Sunday, tell somebody, don't hate on me now. You don't know what Monday was for me. You don't know what Tuesday was for me. Tell somebody, you don't even know what last night was for me. So tell them, don't. I'm going to leave it alone. They don't understand it. Sister Linda, they don't understand. They think it's just an act, but when I start thinking about it, my God, he could have done some stuff, but God was too good to take every dime, come on somebody, to take every demon. Y'all not saying nothing to me. And snap, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. The enemy comes in like a flood, but look at somebody and tell them, God lifts up a standard. I don't know, but how many of y'all felt like giving up one time this week? How many of y'all felt like just turning off your cell phone and just throwing it away? But tell somebody I didn't give up on hope. 
I'm going to leave it alone because they're thinking that we're just putting on an act. But tell somebody, amen, I needed this. Woo, to tell the devil, amen, that you thought it, amen, it was going to finish me off. But tell somebody, it just got me started. Mm. Woo. Somebody ought to just give him a praise and just tell him thank you. Somebody don't understand it. Tell them it may look easy. They'll look at you and tell them it look real easy. Tell them it may look easy. But tell them you don't have any clue or idea what it took to get this together. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Somebody think I'm talking about their nails or their makeup or their suit or their sneakers. I said you don't know, amen, how long it took to get this together. Because I would have lost my... Tell them we're going to get there. Tell somebody we're going to get there. Somebody say, where I'm going, amen. Tell them, amen, you're going to get to where God promised you. Mm. Tell them that's why I ain't hating on you. You can't, amen, tell them don't give up on me because I ain't give up on God. I'm going to leave it alone. They'll, they'll get it. They'll get it. I speak to everybody in this house that when you go home, you want to start prophesying in your own house. I'm going to give you a license to prophesy into your own house. Y'all not saying that, name, man. Tell somebody, I'm going to speak into my own house. And I'm going to believe God in my own house. Woo! All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all still ain't going to get it until you get home, but thank God. Listen, we're leaving. Amen. We got the amen. Go. I got to preach. Amen. We got amen. Some children that we got the Christian. We got a family here. So we thank God once again. Amen. For amen. Our amen. First lady, Lady Rivers. Thank God for her. Thank God for her. Amen. We got an awesome man of God. Thank God for every elder. Amen. Every minister, evangelist, deacons. Amen. Thank God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For these musicians of this praise team, we are so grateful. Amen. For all of those, amen, that has joined us, even, amen, by way of, amen, media, through Facebook, amen, through YouTube. Thank God for you. We are still believing the Lord. Amen. And, and, and in spite of what the pandemic looks like, come on, somebody, we are still going to believe God. Amen, somebody. If you ain't vaccinated, amen. If you ain't got your two shots, your one shot, amen. Amen. I, I, I ain't going to tell you what to do, amen. But look at somebody and tell them as long as you got, amen, the Holy Spirit. Tell them you got to have something inside you now. Y'all not saying that to me. Amen. But this is where, amen, we stand on God's word. And we believe, amen, that God said he'll bring us through, amen, in this hour. Listen, I'm going to, amen, come to you now by way, amen, of tithe and offering. Amen, somebody. I'm going to believe the Lord, amen. Those that are viewing with us, amen, through via Facebook, amen. You know, amen, there's, on the screen, there's various ways that we can be a blessing to the kingdom of the Lord. And I know now, amen, there's some folks, amen, that are saying, why the church, amen, got to take money? Why the money's got to be in what's going on? The Bible says it. And we have to stand on the word of God. That we bring our tithe and our offering into the storehouse that there might be meat amen in the lord's house amen so we are standing on god's principles and god's promises for those amen who have jobs you can't ask amen when they take it out your check before you get it where it's going they take it they take it and for those that are getting that uh, that, that that unemployment and that a good stimulus money, they're going to take that back too. Come on, somebody. You're going to get a bill without even knowing what happened. And they're going to tell you, remember when we looked out for you? Well, now it's our time for take it back. Amen. Huh? Y'all got it and start dancing. Some people were dancing and shouting. I didn't get nothing. I thought I should have gotten me a stimulus check. I'm looking out for the mailman and looking, in, looking all in my bank account. Can't find nothing. I thought my wife done took saying uh, double dipped on me. If I'd have seen her start smiling, I'd know she had something extra. Y'all not saying nothing here. Y'all married man, y'all don't do that? I go searching. I start looking at everything that she buys. 
And anytime she wants to pick up the bill, I know something is wrong. She said to me the other night, let's go out to eat. I said, all right. I was happy. I said, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go out to eat. By the time I finished ordering and eating, and that thing was on the table, she said, all right, pay the bill. I said, oh, you got to be, you got to be kidding me. I done took my son and my grandchildren out. I done, everybody drive me crazy ordering chicken fingers and shrimps. And I said, well, mama, if she got it, we got it. She said, well, now you can pay the bill. I said, oh, Jesus. You know, they don't ask no more. You don't just leave your own tip now. That little computer says, hey, man, the minimum was $21. I said, what, what, what y'all doing? I said, this, they want to get paid. Everybody want to get paid now. Y'all not saying nothing to me. Everybody want to get paid now. Come on, somebody. Woo! Everybody want to get paid. She said, what you leave? I said, she said, what to leave? Because, you know, you know we as black folks, we, we start to determine what, what we're going to give for because of the service that we got. I ain't lying to y'all. She was, she was serving a big table on the other side and forgot all about us. I'm sitting up there trying to look for her to get my stuff, and she's still, I said, oh, this got something to do with your tip here. You better treat me right. You know, we like to try to go black all the time. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. We like to go black real quick. Oh, that's prejudice, and you know, because she was right, that's prejudice. But she did do a service. So therefore, we had to do right. I told my wife, I said, you take care of that. And after that right there, that was it. But thank God. Huh? But when God gives you, you give it back to God. Come on. And he promises, amen, press down, shaking together, and running over. God's going to do it. I'm going to ask, amen, as many as can. Those that would bring their time and offer. But I'm going to ask those that would be a blessing for $21. Y'all thought I was going to go all, y'all thought I was going to go deep. But God will do, amen, more with what you believe that you can't give and what he can give. You ain't got $21, I'm going to say 14 and then 7. Huh? This ain't an auction, but when you be a blessing unto the Lord, God knows how to be a blessing unto you. He knows how to give it back to you. Come on, somebody. God is responsible for your finances. When you put it in his hand, God is responsible to get it back to you. Come on, somebody. And he has multiple ways. Some of y'all saying, I ain't get a raise yet for my job. God has multiple ways of doing it. You just need to learn how to trust him. I pray that you would, amen, give that 21, that 14, that 7, and be a blessing told the church a couple of months ago I was walking into the restaurant and I promise you I can spot money from a mile away because I ain't got none y'all ain't saying nothing but I can spot it you know everything on the ground looks green now I started looking at everything and this guy was coming right towards me and I'm looking at him and all of a sudden, my eyes went fixated on a $20 bill on the ground. I went to pick that $20 bill up. Don't clap yet. I went and picked that bill up, and in the corner of this little restaurant store, 20 bills, I mean, just multiple 20. Boy, I went down there like it was nobody's business. I walked right past him and started, you know how you get, you get scared. I was getting scared picking up all that money and shoving it in my pocket. I just looked around and went to the restaurant. I'm happy now. I said, if that guy come back around saying, did, I lose, did he lose his money? You know, you don't want to look at nobody when they lose it. I got my order and got out of there. Come on, somebody. And he came, I, he came back around the corner looking like he lost something. I just kept going. I wasn't going to ask him nothing about him, and he wasn't going to ask nothing about me because I was happy that somebody paid for lunch and dinner. Come on, somebody. God knows how to get it to you. God knows how to get it to you. Come on. As they come down, amen, those that would pay, amen, as we ask, amen, that you would give that 21, that 14, that 7. Somebody say, amen, I, I, I just, I would have given it if I had 
I just got my credit card and I got my debit card. Well, I got Cash App and I got PayPal and we got Zelle. Come on, somebody. Our Cash App is what? Dollar sign. Worship CC5. Dollar sign, worship CC5. Y'all try to get all sophisticated. Into my, I can't believe the church is doing that. I can't believe y'all are doing it. Come on, somebody. Izell is worship cc.pjr at gmail.com. I had to learn how to become a real fast evangelist online now. Y'all not saying nothing to me. Our PayPal is, what is it? PayPal. I didn't get that one. Worship Christian Center NY dot org. That's for PayPal. Learn how to be a blessing. I'm telling you, we, we run a food pantry here. We've been doing it. Come on, see, that's where you ought to start clapping and thanking God. We run a food pantry here. We've been doing it almost two years now. And we don't take and give anything cheap, amen. We give fish and chicken. and We are blessed, amen, to be a blessing to somebody else. Come on, somebody. Eggs and everything. I see more people coming down here because they saying, ain't no way. This is no kind of pantry that I, I'm used to. But we like to be meant to make sure that what God gives us, we give it back. To. Huh? And we serve our community. So we thank God, amen, that God is able, amen, to be a blessing. Those, amen, that can give that 21, that 14, that 7, and be a blessing, amen, we would thank God, amen, for you. Those that have an offering, amen, whatever it is, no matter the size, if it's a dollar, don't wrinkle up, don't fold it up. You don't want God, amen, to give you your blessing that way. Hold it before the Lord. It's got to be blessed and sanctified. Put into the Lord's bank, and then God can put it in yours. Father, we thank you today for those that would give in this offering, those that would bring tithe into your storehouse. Father, we are holding on to your principles. Bless them now, Father. Somebody is in a need, Lord God. But Father, they'll stretch out, Father, in faith. And you promise to give it back to us. Press down, shaking together and running over and good measures. Thank you that this seed cannot be compared to what you're going to give, but you promise to open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that is not enough room to receive. So we thank you today for God, your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Those that would give, thank you. Amen. Those that would give, thank you on today. Amen. Those that would give, thank you on today. Listen, I have those, amen, as you're giving, I have an awesome man of God. Can we thank God, amen, for my pastor, my brother, amen, Pastor Daheem Kears, prophet Pastor Daheem Kears. We thank God for him and for his first lady. Amen. Lady Kiss, amen. We thank God for you. That's, that's mama, right? Bless you, mom. Bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Bless you. Both mamas, right? Both my Oh, bless you. Amen. We thank God for you all. Amen. We thank God for you all. I know, amen, that we, we were under the fast, but, but fast is over at 12 o'clock. All right, okay, all right. I just wanted to make sure. They said they, said they fast. I said, no, it's over at 12 o'clock. I said, all right, so we'll make sure, amen. But we thank God for, oh, Shade, for this man of God that will come and bring forth the word. I am excited, amen. I know he's an awesome man of God. And we wanted to man, make sure, amen, that we had to and, and invite him over. Every time we get together, amen, y'all think that we just be talking about nonsense. We always talking about church, huh? And our wives. I'm just going, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, what are you talking about? We always, uh, we just love, amen, to talk about our wives. Hold them up in high esteem. Thank God, amen. We are so anointed. God is good, amen. I'm telling you right now, amen, somebody who don't talk about their wives at their jobs and at their, amen, in their place of gathering, amen, then I guess you don't love them. But we thank God, amen, for this man of God. Let's receive, amen, the ministry, amen, of Prophet Dahim, amen, Pastor Prophet Dahim Kears. Let's receive him now as he come in Jesus' name.
Come on, y'all. Y'all make a loud noise and give God a praise in this place. Oh, yes. There is a blessing and such a sweet spirit in this building. We truly thank God for the past of this house, the leader, the overseer, the bishop. Y'all ought to make a real loud noise. Pastor John Rivers, I love you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate your gift and your ministry. I look up to you, and I'm just glad that the Lord has connected us, you know, through Bishop. Thank God for my Bishop, Bishop Archie L. McGinnis II. Just wonderful people of God, and we thank God for First Lady Rivers that's in this place. Love you, First. You have... You have two wonderful uh, people of God that are leading you in the right direction. And, and um, good leadership is a blessing. And, and, and bad leadership is a curse. I don't know which one you consider, but I consider them to be good leaders. And I'm appreciative of them. Love you so much. Thank God for my wife, uh, Alicia Kears. And my, my kids, my two lovely children, thank God for both of my mother-in-laws. Those are her mothers. Y'all be seated. When we got married, I lost my mother. She gained another one. Because every time we argue, the first thing they said is, what did I do? Y'all don't believe, y'all only laugh because y'all don't think we argue. <laughs> If you're married, you're going to argue. Tell somebody it's okay. <laughs> somebody say it's okay. Okay, some people, don't, they don't argue. They have uh, loud conversations. Let me tell you something. It takes work to stay connected to people. When, when, when God created us, he didn't create us to be perfect by ourself. He created us to be perfect through him. And one thing you must understand is that you are who you are. And all your faults, all your mistakes, you're going to get on somebody's nerve. But you ought to thank God for the grace that they're still able to stay here and deal with you. Some people ain't going to praise on that. But I praise God for the people that's, that have the grace to deal with me. I got one. St you better go ahead, sister, what you say. Some of us think we're God's gift. Don't lie to yourself. Shandi, I say. Love one another. Hello, somebody. And love who you're connected to. Appreciate them. Disagree, argue, whatever. But tell somebody, don't disconnect from those that help you, that really love you. I don't know why I'm going there. Just like parents, sometimes children, we leave our parents and we say, forget you, I, I wanna be on my own because we don't know that they're speaking love just in their way. You know, I argue with my parents. God knows I wish I can reverse time because I would go back home. Didn't have to worry about tissue didn't have to worry about eating. I didn't have to worry about paying bills. Oh, what a time. You remember those days when you just get up and go and, and when you did get money, you go buy chips, buy sneakers. But I'm grateful because let me tell you something. God looks out for those who really have a good heart. And while we were praising, I seen a shift in this building because there are some people here that have a great heart. Their expression is different. Yeah, I'm going slow, but I'm going to get there. Their expression is different. And I saw a shift in the place. I saw, I saw multiple people 
being blessed because they decided to change their minds. Watch this, to agree with their heart. Okay. In other words, you're thinking on certain things and you want to do certain things, and, but your heart won't permit you because of past situations and trust issues and different things that you did not receive when you know you should have received it, but because you put out, it was disrespected. They were disrespectful. But I saw God shifting in this place because those of you that will agree to do what God said in this next season, you are going to be rewarded. Why? Because I'm telling you to operate in this way. Look at your neighbor and say, it's okay now to release. It's okay to release in this season because what you're getting ready to get back is gonna be more than what you let go. You're going to be able to bless some people that even talked about you, scandalized your name, and threw you under the truck, not the bus, the dump truck that was filled with concrete. Hello, somebody. And I'm here to tell you today that even while you guys were praising, there was a shift. The agreement of the mind and the heart. And I even heard God saying, he so tell my people that I'm getting ready to fight for them. That's why their mind and their heart has to agree because in this next season, they're not going to have to lift their fists or their hands or open their mouth. I'm going to fight for you. I need you to touch and agree with somebody and tell them, say, neighbor, in this season, I'm going to shut up. No disrespect. Because some of us, we, we opt out of our blessing because we won't keep our mouths under subjection. And God is trying to get something to you if you just be quiet and let him fight your battles. Hear me. I feel God in here. He's going to do something amazing. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm going to Exodus, the fifth chapter. I just want to tell you, mother, in the yellow, I don't know your name. What's your name? Shout it. Somebody shout her name. Rankin. Sister Linda. What's your last name? Rankin. Rankin. Sister Linda Rankin. We're going to Exodus, the fifth chapter, and the sixth chapter. We're going to skip. But Sister Rankin, when you were giving God praise, the Lord told me to tell you that while you were praising, he was shifting your health condition. Exodus, the fifth chapter, the first verse. I'm working in your lungs. I'm working in your bloodstream. And while you were praising, there was a release and a shift in your health condition. And I don't care what the doctor say. I want you to look at somebody and say, I believe God. See, some of you ain't going to say it. The first, manifestation of, the first manifestation of belief on this earth is verbal or written. So when you keep your mouth shut, you don't cause things to happen. That's why the Bible says, speak those things that are not as though they were. Because the manifestation of things take place when you enter it into the earth realm. In order for something to take place down here, it has to be spoken or it has to be written. Y'all don't hear what I'm telling you. Buildings don't go up just because they got a thought and say, let's build the building. No, they have to think, then they have to communicate, and then they have to jot it down and make a blueprint. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's got to happen. Ask them why. Because I said so. Now, you got to have power when you say that. Yada, Shandi Ose. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm healed because I say so. <laughs> Exodus, the fifth chapter. Keep praising, mother. Praise again today. And I'm going to work the things out for your daughter.
Yeah. Shata Bahaya. I'm going into the word. Sorry. Exodus the first. Yada Bashandi. I said, tell ah, your praise is going to affect your daughter. And it's going to, God is going to make sure she's covered where she is. And he's going to show up for her because of your praise. Tell somebody praise makes a difference. Some people don't believe it, but part of the reason I'm still breathing is because I praise my way through every situation. Praise says, I still know that futuristically, God's got to do something. Exodus, the fifth chapter, and the first verse. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in. We're going in real quick. I know y'all got a lot of things to do. And told Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord God of Israel. What did it say? We got to say this together. What did it say? That they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, who is this Lord? Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord. What? Neither will I let them go. His request was denied. Look what the Lord says in Exodus 6, in the first chapter. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. And with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And when I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan. The land of the pilgrimage wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groanings of the children of Israel. Some of you are getting ready to get a response from God because you've been, you've been murmuring and groaning under your breath. Not in complaint, but in prayer. I heard their groaning, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. And I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will rid you out of their bondage and I will redeem you with the stretched out arm with great judgments and I will take you to me for people and I will be to you a God and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I know some of you are not going to get excited about this, but I want you to look at your neighbor, and I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. you're getting ready to see something. You're getting ready to see something. I want to talk to you from this subject. Allow me to reintroduce myself. You can sit down. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Now some of you, and I'll move around a lot and I'm going to be fast. Some of you, the first thing that came to your mind, I know when the Lord gave it to me, was the song that uh, Mr. Um, Sean Carter made famous. And in this song, he, the first verse, I'm telling you, like I'm, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, but I, I, you know, I used to listen to those things. And I liked it too, what you said. I grew up, I, I'm, a, I'm a 70s baby. No, I'm an 80s baby. 70s, I don't know. But I do know I like them songs. And this song in particular, it was an anthem. And the first verse, he is speaking out, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... He, he claiming to be ho, but, you know, he ain't who he say he is, what you say. But my point of, of stating this is the Lord, when he gave me the scripture, he said, imagine me 
speaking to the children of Israel and letting them know what I'm going to bring them out of. The question comes up, how are you going to bring them out, God, when Pharaoh has control? And Pharaoh specifically said, who is God? Who is the Lord? I don't know who he is, and I don't care. I'm not letting them go. And then the Lord said, allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm going to, this is prophetic right here. I'm getting ready to step in to some of your situations that your situations, the situations that won't let you go. See, some of us, we have been gripped, hear me, with situations that are not our fault, but it is our challenge. And what I mean by that, there are some things that have been passed down through our generation that we don't even have an understanding of why we're dealing with it. Hear me. you got to understand that even those in Israel, some of them were born into this. And God spoke to Moses, told Moses, go tell Pharaoh, let the people go. This didn't encourage Pharaoh to let them go. This, this made him even angrier and caused things to get worse. Instead of them using brick, they had to use straw. They made things work. They were whipped. They were beaten. All because of a request. And you got to understand that when you make your mind up that you're tired of being where you are and you're going to push forward, you got to understand the enemy is not going to make things easier for you. He's going to make things more difficult. And the truth of the matter is some of us are dealing with difficult situations and we are continually dealing with these situations because we don't allow God to step in our situation. Huh? When you let God step in your situation, he, you are able to sit back and let him handle it and you ought to do what we were doing earlier is giving God praise. Some of us won't give God praise because we're more, uh, 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 we're more paying attention to our feelings instead of what we know that God is able to do. Can God bring you out? Yes, he can. Can God make a way? Yes, he can. The problem is some of us, we equate time to freedom. And we get discouraged because it didn't work in our time. And you got to understand that God is not a op God that operates in your time, but he operates in his time. And when he operates in his time, even though it's not on your time, you got to know it will be on time. The bill is due tomorrow, Lord. It don't matter. I ain't show up to. You need to show up today. The bill is due tomorrow, Lord. And next day come. It is 28th. The bill is due today, Lord. It don't matter. The banks close at 5 o'clock. God is a type of God that will show up at 4.59 just so you can make a transfer before the doors close. The Bible says... That he requests that Pharaoh let him go. Pharaoh doesn't let him go. He pours more on to them. You know what this does? It pulls the confidence from the children of Israel. I feel that thing right there. Some of our confidence, some of our confidence have been pulled away. Because of more stuff not working right in our life. We lose confidence in God because what we see is not what he said. Y'all don't hear what I'm telling you. The Lord told Moses to tell the children of Israel, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make sure you good. The Bible says the children of Israel did not believe Moses. They did not want to accept what he was saying because what they were going through was more of a reality than what he was saying. And you got to understand that what you're going through seems like it's more of, re more of a reality than what God said because what God said is in the atmosphere. But you got to know that it's already manifested even if it's in the atmosphere. The enemy uses physical and 
things, the physical realm and things that are happening right now, he uses these things to discourage you and to for you to throw in the towel. You ever you ever made your mind up to lose weight and then now you're going on a diet and now you're encouraged to go to the gym and everything is going very well until you smell the bakery, until you driving and someone says, let me take you out to lunch. Let me take you out and we're going to the, 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 the restaurant with, that has no salad, that has no vegetables, just has all calories and everything. You got to understand that when you make up your mind to do something, there is always obstacles that's going to come in your way to try to challenge you to change your mind. And in this next season, you can't be a people that will change your mind because as soon as you change your mind, you will lose out on your blessing. Some of our minds are so crazy, it's here and there, and we wonder why we're going through the same thing over and over and over again. The reason Israel kept going through over and over again. The reason they died in the wilderness is because they changed their mind on what God said. If God said it, it has to come to pass and you have to be confident. Somebody say confident in what he says. But pastor, I don't see it. Yeah, even though you don't see it, it's according to your belief system. Israel did not want to believe. But God made a promise. Amen. And understand this, this promise wasn't to one person. It was to the nation. Amen. And I know some of you might not catch this, but people died in that nation. So God is not going to keep a promise to a person because if that person dies, then his word can't come to pass. So he promises it to the nation. Amen. And the mistakes of the nation causes some people to drop off and some people to stay on. Which means that no matter what, God has an obligation to keep his covenant with the nation. You told me my family was going to be free. Even if I don't live to see freedom, I know that my family is going to be free. Understand what I'm telling you. In other words, his word will not come back void. Even if you don't see it, it a tree dropped in California just a little while ago. Did you hear it? No. Did it drop? Yeah. What, the, what is he talking about? In other words, you don't have to see it for yourself when you know God said it. You give God praise because you know he said it and you have confidence in his word because his word is going to come to pass. I like mother right here. I, I, you know, I'm bad with names, mother, but she gave God praise off of the word. I didn't see anything yet. And some of us, we act bougie because we don't see anything and we don't give God praise. I ain't praising. Yeah, whatever. The, the, yeah, I see it when it happens. And the truth of the matter is you disqualify your blessing. You don't want to disqualify your blessing. The Bible says that now Pharaoh, he, he disrespects God. I'm not letting him go. I don't know who your God is. The Lord steps in. And this is what God told me to tell this house. He said, I'm getting ready to step in, fight the battles that's been held, holding up some stuff in this season. For the, what, what, what took others six years, eight years, I'm getting ready to speed up time because I'm getting ready to step in. What I need my people to do is give me glory and honor and praise without hesitation. They are getting ready to be, they are getting ready to be doors that you shall walk through. Because I'm going to introduce myself to the one that's in charge and cause them to be confused and don't know why they're releasing the key. I don't know why I'm letting go of certain things in this next season, but I feel that I need to release it into your hand. I wish I had a believer. The Lord steps in and he says, allow me to reintroduce myself. And then he begins to explain to Moses and the people 
what he was going to do. How he was going to bring them out. What they were to expect. Hear me. In this next season, there needs not to be any doubt. If you doubt, you lose. Because this is going to be a season of release only because God is stepping in. And he's introducing himself to your adversary. Not just Lucifer, not just Satan. He's introducing himself to your landlord. He's introducing himself to the mortgage broker. He's introducing himself to the person that owns the property, but they don't want to release the deed. He's introducing himself to your pharaoh. And how I'm about to bring you out, can't nobody get glory in this season. Your praise has to be so extensive that it shows everybody outside that don't understand that you're crazy. But it says to God, Lord, I believe. And let me tell you this, uh, worship Christian, you got to be willing to look crazy until you see what, what God said. It's crazy that Pharaoh is going to let us go. It's crazy that they're going to release us after all these years. They never did it before. But the way I'm getting ready to do something in Pharaoh's life, he ain't going to have no other choice but to let the people go. I don't care if I got to bring serpents or locusts. I don't care if I got to kill the firstborn. I don't care if I got to. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to keep covenant with my people. That's why you have to have confidence confidence in your God because your God is willing to go to the extreme to make sure you get what he said I want you to put your hand on your chest real quick and say I'm getting ready to receive what God said I'm getting ready to receive what God said the Bible says how the Lord is showing up for them and you got to understand that he showed up for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is what the Bible says. Help me here, y'all. He showed up for them, sis. He showed up for them and he presented himself as El Shaddai. This is what the Bible says. He presented himself as El Shaddai, which means that he is capable to do it. He is capable. He presented himself to El Shaddai. Some people are only experienced with El Shaddai. The fact that he's capable to do it. But when he gets to this scripture and he speaks to Moses in Israel, he presents himself as Yahweh. Okay? That ain't go over like I thought it was. El Shaddai says he's capable to do all things. But Yahweh says he's guaranteed to do all things for me. All right, that ain't work. So you can give God praise and everybody worshiping, and everybody shouting, and everybody going crazy because of El Shaddai in general. The Lord can do all things. The Lord can give God. The Lord can make a way. But there's somebody that's crying and tearing and pouring out their spirit because they see God doing it for them. He's not just going to heal, but he's going to heal my body. He's not just going to provide, or he's not just a provider, but he provided food for me when I didn't have it y'all don't hear what I'm telling you and I'm here to tell you that as you were giving God glory and there was a shift that was taking place in this house I heard God said that I'm not just going to be El Shaddai in this season but I'm about to show my people I'm going to be Yahweh I'm going to show up for you personally right in your house right on your job right in the doctor's office in the courtroom Room, I'm getting ready to show you how real I am. 
Oh, 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 yes, Lord Jesus. I feel like running and nobody chasing me. You better get excited about God showing up for you in your life. Oh, no, 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 that's it. Uh, so God tells Moses that I'm here and I'm going to make sure you good. And I was here for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, I was for them. But I'm Yahweh for you. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, Yahweh is showing up for you. Y'all ain't saying it. I wish I had somebody to say Yahweh is showing up for you. See, 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 your response would be different if you knew Yahweh was personal. Yeah, some of you don't believe. And no, 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 she and the higher. And when you don't believe, you don't release. Yeah, no, 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 she and the higher. But I'm going to show you how powerful God is. Oh. Oh. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how powerful and how on point God is. I'm done. Tell somebody, allow me to reintroduce myself. The shout that you gave God when you were standing right here was a shout of personal release. And I'm going to, ho, 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 ho. And I'm going to get specific. Oh my God, I feel like running and nobody chasing me. God knows I do, I do. I don't care. Let me tell you something. I got to the point. I really don't care what you think. I'm just telling you the truth. Let me tell you something. If God going to do it, he going to do it. And that's the kind of attitude you need to get. I don't care what you think. Are you crazy? I need a blessing. You're the most sheer the higher. And Lord, I need you to introduce yourself. I know you think I'm crazy, but you need to get a pair of keys in your hand. Get her a pair of keys right now. Mm -hmm, yeah. Good keys. What you say? And 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 while you were standing here, and 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 you shouted, you may not <laughs> you you may not have realized. The shift that took place when you said, I plead, I plead the blood. But there was a shift that took place because the enemy's been fighting your comfortability of living arrangements for some years now. But I don't know, shut up. But I, I, she ain't it. But when she, when she shouted, there was, there was a transition and I decree and declare right now that soon and very soon these keys that you shall receive is going to be to new space and I know y'all don't believe that y'all don't believe that I told, I told I, no, 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 no. they say pastor you know what the problem is you cry, girl, and you praise him, and you get that hair wet, and you glorify him, and forget about all these people, because all of them got houses and land, and all of them got garages and all that stuff, and here it is, you've been dealing and going through, and you've been praising and crying, and nobody knew, but I hear God saying this, get it ready to be a release on you. I know the most, she and the higher, ho, 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 ya know the most, ho, shut up. Somebody say new space. You know the problem, Pastor? You know the problem, First Lady? They say he always prophesied new space to people. That's all he do. Prophesy to apartment or prophesy a car. See, it's crazy. It's just a coincidence that every day, every time I do prophesy new space, it's to somebody that needs new space. Ta -ta. I, I can understand if they didn't have it or they or if they had it already. But God said, I don't care how many times you gotta say it, I'm gonna direct you to who to say it to. And I'm I got no more shit on the higher. And I and I got no more. And girl, you praise him for, for new space 
and you act as if. Somebody say, act as if. When you go, just like, just like Bishop said, when you get home, peace shall abide. And it shall abide in you, peace. No, 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 Moshe. And I hear God saying he's giving you an extension. I'm giving you more time. I'm giving you more time. I wish I had a praiser too. Somebody say more time. I wish I had a pray. I wish I wish I had a praiser too that will give God glory. I need, I need, I need more time. But that's what the Lord said. And as you praise him, yeah, I want you to shout one more time. Hey, and this shout, somebody say, before we go there, I just want to hear her shout. Because this time, one shout is going to be for the keys. One shout, the space. The, 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 that, another shout is going to be for... <laughs> yes, Lord. One shout is going to be for the space. The other shout is going to be for... One shout is going to be for the space. One shout is going to be for the extension. But I even hear transportation. And, there's, and, 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 and I don't know what this means. But you need to get where you got to go faster. And God is going to provide that in contingent of you. One, responding in these shouts. And two, being consistent in praise and three, watch this, not responding to those that said it ain't going to work. The action. Somebody say, shut up in this season. No disrespect. No disrespect. But shut up. Because I'm going to fight your battle. Now I want you to shout three times. What's your name? What's, what's her name? Who? Danielle. I want you to shout three times. Shout Danielle once. Shout again, Danielle. Shout again, Danielle. Now somebody ought to help Danielle give God glory. Y'all think I'm crazy. Y'all think this is crazy. I'm Y'all better help, Danielle. Now you you're no no no. Y'all better help, Danielle. I'm moving. Y'all know about she and the higher. Tell somebody the Lord is going to introduce himself. Tell he going to introduce. That's how you respond. And because you are in, because you're in agreement, I'm touching and agreeing for the young lady you've been praying for. There's a young lady you've been praying for extensively. I'm touching and agreeing with you right now. No hurt, harm, or danger. And I don't know what it is about relocation. But I... But tell, tell, but tell somebody... Say, God, God knows how to do things in his own manner, in his own time, in his own way. And sometimes a no will put you in a place where the yes, when you get it, is better. I, I don't know if y'all caught that. I said, sometimes a no now will put you in a better place where the yes is better. And I hear God saying the yes is going to be better. And I'm releasing weight on you. That all your double she and the higher. 
And I'm releasing weight on you that's been on you for the, this past year on how. Somebody say how. You received the word not long ago. God said, I'm still going to do what I said. Stop worrying about how. Yeah, no, 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 Mashandia. Tell somebody, you don't worry about how. You praise him because he said it's already done. Yeah, no, 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 Moshia, the higher. He said, I'm going to do it for you. Res lift your hands real quick and say, Lord, I receive it and I give you praise for it right now in the name of Jesus. Now you shout. I wish I had a shout up. Oh, shout. Y'all looking, y'all looking, y'all looking, y'all looking, y'all looking. I'm done. I feel good. I can run in this place. Oh, yes, Lord. Y'all better praise him. The Lord is blessing me. And some people... And some people don't believe it's okay, but you praise him, girl. Can I talk to you real quick? Yes, you. The Lord said, the Lord told me to tell you it's not by happenstance that you're here today. And whatever you doubted before, understand this, that I am real. Mm -hmm. I am so real that I'm going to show you how real I am because you prayed to God and didn't know you was praying you was just having a conversation like yo I don't know how this is going to work like what this, I'm, 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 I'm this close to, to losing it the Lord said you're not going to lose it and you know what it I'm talking about I feel like running What's your name? Selena. Y'all point your hand to Selena and say, Selena, Selena. you're not, not going to lose it. You know why you're not going to lose it? Because your family needs this. I'm talking in riddles because you know the insides and out, but I'm going to say this. God is going to show up for you so fast. that those around you are going to say, I don't believe this. Watch this. And this right here is a setup for you to bring those that you have spoken to and said, come to church with me. It's going to cause them to come. I hope, I hope I'm right. You tell me. Uh, you tell me. You can tell me. You're wrong, preacher. But I, I, I hear God. And I'm going to move. Now, Selena, I need you to praise God. Forget these people forget me I love y'all though no disrespect but forget everybody and I want you to give God praise I don't care if you got rhythm and I hear God saying you and your family need to give God praise because you're another one that's getting ready to walk into new space and wait 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 and God said and God told me to tell you cause I don't know if whatever application you filled out Whatever application that, that, that is out, is, I see an application out there. Tell somebody, you're getting ready to get an answer. If you're crazy enough to believe that God is going to do it, he's crazy enough to show up before these five months is out. You needed a boost of faith. I'm closing, Pastor, because it's getting late. You needed a boost. You needed a boost of faith. And 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 and, and I want your family. This is your family right here, right? I want you, I want you your family to give God praise with you, bro, because y'all about to see new space. 
And some people don't believe it first. But I feel, hear me, I feel the struggle of back and forth. And this today is solidifying the fact that God is real, but he's just not real. He's real to you. You will never ever doubt him another day in your life and God told me to do this he said I'm going to show up for you quick fast and in a hurry and I'm going to show now y'all need to give God praise because the Lord told me to, to sow I knew I was coming here to do something and let me tell you something this is going to be a boost y'all don't with, with, there's some haters in this house there's some haters in this if you ain't a hater you need to shout I don't know how close you were to losing it but I dare you to point your hand to her and say you not gonna lose it now, family, if y'all know the situation, y'all need to run up here and help praise because there's going to be such a blessing. Y'all looking. Y'all look. Y'all look. Y'all looking. Y'all looking, but you need to shout and praise him. If it was you, if it was you, hey, somebody give God glory. I do. Watch. Watch, God. Watch God do what He say. Watch Him. I wish I had a believer to help her praise him. You don't know what it's like to be almost there. You don't know what it's like to be almost there. You don't know what it's like to be almost there. But I decree and declare, you're not going to lose it. Somebody ought to praise him. Hey. Praise him, mother. Yeah! Oh, shut. Somebody help mother praise him back there. Yeah! Oh, shut. There is a release. There is a release here. Every unbeliever is going to believe. Every person that don't believe is going to believe. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Tell somebody, I believe it. He introduced himself to me. Oh, I believe. Oh, my God. I'm done. I wish I had somebody to just shout and praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is a miracle for her. Y'all don't believe that. I'm done. But we brag on how we want God to show himself mighty and strong. And when he do, we don't respond to how he does it. Tell, look at somebody and say, when I leave here today, I'm going to see the hand of the Lord move. You're done. You know my shandy, I say. 
build a, that's it girl what you're doing is you're inviting God to introduce himself to every one of your situations we're those that are we're the first responders we're the first responders oh I feel healing in this place I'm telling you I'm moving yeah no 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 some people don't believe it and it's okay I'm done but I've been I, I haven't been doing this long enough but the amount of time that I've done it mother I've seen God do exactly what he said I'm done. I'm closing. What's her, what's, her, what's her name again? What's her name again? Selena. I'm sorry. I forget names. Uh, so, so bad. But Selena. Who's this? Your mother? Your sister? I feel healing in her body. From her womb to her chest. Yeah, Oh, say right there. Tell somebody healing. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all don't believe God can get in the bloodstream. He can work in the lungs. He can do surgery without even opening you up. I wish I had a believer to lift your hands and shout healing. I wish I had a believer to shout healing. Yeah, no, 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 but she in the higher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody shout healing. See, y'all can't praise them all for that because you don't see it. But there's healing taking place. Oh, the Lord is doing it. You're not. He's going to reveal himself to some of you. I'm done. Selena, not many days hence, you're going to see the hand of God move even the more. And I don't know, but this is going to make a heavy impact on your family and everything that's around you. And you're going to be able to say, somebody say with a confidence, that God is real. He is real. Healing is taking place. Sis, I just want you to lift your hands in the blue. No, you. You. Lift your hands. Receive this next blessing and miracle that's getting ready to step into your life. God said, I'm going to fight your battles. I hear God saying, I'm going to fight your battles. Your hands are hurting because you're trying to do too much. You're trying to do the work yourself. And God said, I need you to let go. And it's okay. I hear God saying, they're going to be all right. Let go and let me operate the way I want to operate. I, hear, I even hear God working a miracle in your occupation. And I don't know, Yadabashandi, I say, where this is coming from, whether it's a promotion, but I do see a $5,000 increase. Y'all don't believe that God can do stuff like this? I'm telling you, He can. Because you pray to me, Lord, I need more in this next season. I want to provide for this. I want, I want to give her this. I want to be able to show them that I can do this. These are the conversations that you have. And I hear God saying, I'm going to do exactly what I said in your life. Lift your hands as high as you can. I want you to point your hands to her and say, and it is so. Come on here. As she began to give God glory, 
There is such a presence of peace that shall fall upon her. Come on, shout, and it is so. And it is so. I say, yes, Lord Jesus. When you leave here, nothing is going to aggravate you like it did before. Yes, Lord Jesus, yes. The aggravation is going to subside. As we as I as I close, Bishop, is it all right, Pastor? If as I close, I want to make I want to sow a seed. Those of you that can and will, I want you to sow a seed on this word. As you sow, you shall see the hand of God. And some people say, I don't believe it. It's okay if you don't believe it, don't respond. You know, I, I, I'm convinced that when you don't respond, you don't see. And then when somebody else gets, you jump on a bandwagon. But I'm, I, I'm confident in God's word, mother. And I understand what he said. That as we sow today, we shall open up another door of release. Hello, somebody. I want you to sow. I'm not going to tell you specifically what to sow. But I'm sowing $200 on today. I'm going to sow $200 on today. And I'm not going to tell you what to sow. Some of you can sow $100. Some of you can sow $200. Some of you can sow whatever. But I want you to release a seed that says, Lord, I need you to step in and introduce yourself to my struggle. To the trouble that has presented itself in my life. It needs to know who I serve. Can I get a witness? Those of you that are sowing right now, I want you to make yourself known. Whether you're sowing uh, cash app or, 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 or cash, let me know that you're sowing. I want you to sow. I've seen God be God. Hello, somebody. And I'm excited about what God says he can do and what he will. I told the young lady last month while we were giving God praise, I did. God told me to do the same thing first. You were, they were there and I gave the girl money and I told the girl I said you better praise God for new space the, I, by Tuesday I said by, 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 by Tuesday before Tuesday came in they didn't granted her new space I'm talking about she was in a studio before Tuesday came in she had a, a bigger space one bedroom whatever it was and she came back and she began to give God praise. Hello, somebody. She responded on her faith and she's seen it happen. You cannot doubt God once he speaks a thing. You need to put all your energy in that, sis. I need those of you that are sowing, let me know that you're sowing. Pastor, this, I'm sowing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pastor. Sowing 200, thank you, sowing. Thank you, sowing. Thank you for sowing. Thank you, healing on your body. Thank you for sowing. Yanama Shandia say, healing on your body. Yanama Shandia say, somebody say, healing. healing. Come on, say it again. Somebody say, healing. healing. Somebody say, healing. healing. Somebody say, healing. There's two of you in here, you've been praying for your family to come together again. I hear God saying, I'm about to cause something to transpire in your family. Yanama Shandi, I say, so, 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 so. For where there was separation, where there was uh, confusion, God said, I'm going to bring them back together again. You're one of them in the, in the red dress. I like that, what you say. Come on, y'all, so. I hear God saying, I'm going to do what you pray for when it comes to your family. When it comes to your family. Because that, it was, it was, I can even tell you, it was, it was a, it was a, uh, it was all because of conversation. It was miscommunication in conversation which caused this. But I hear God saying, I'm going to fix it because of your prayer. Somebody say, the Lord is going to do this. Come on, say it again. Say, the Lord is going to do this. And I see God touching, I see God touching you to be able to speak to both parties. Giving you wisdom and knowledge and understanding on how to operate in this next season. You're another one that's going to walk into another job opportunity. Yeah, they, 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 he at a bush, Shandia say. 
and 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 I hear God saying, "You're not going to get double. You deserve double." I double she the higher, because you are the one. Thank you, Lord, with the broken heart. And I hear God saying, "I'm going to mend the broken heart," and it's okay. It's okay because yet yeah, by by the year 2022, which is next year, I hear God saying, "I'm going to double your finances because you want to be a blessing, and you already got in your mind who to bless." The Lord said, "I'm going to do it for you, and I'm going to touch that young man." Yadaboshia the higher. There's a young man in your life that you've been talking to God about. the higher. I hear God saying, I'm going to touch him. I'm going to cause his conversation to change. Some of us, we, we, we want, we want, we want conversations that we want. Like, you, you know, talk nice to me. Not understanding that we can't we can't we have no ability to control people but when we bypass people and go to God he shows up for us and I hear God saying I'm getting ready to do it for you I'm going to do it for you you're a special person point your hand to her what's your name huh I can't oh her name is special oh I said, what's her name? She is special. You're a special person, Tammy. And your heart is, it speaks volumes. Everybody sold, I'm done. Your heart speaks volumes. Your heart speaks volumes. So, so. Um, Tammy, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Somebody say, Tammy's going to be good. Tammy's going. I see you with your own business too. I see a business. What? What is it? What did you start it? You started the business. What is it? Yeah. That's a tadabos she and the higher. I feel like running, nobody chasing me. Tell yada, that double she and the higher. Tell somebody new business. You crazy enough to praise him, he's crazy enough to talk to the owner for a release. I've been praying. I wish I had more people like, watch up. Yana! Somebody help, Tammy. Oh my God! I can't wait till people get excited for other people. I can't wait till people get excited for other people. I know my son, do you say? Don't, don't get excited at the grand opening. Get excited here before the contract is signed. Get excited here before there's an exchange. Oh, oh, somebody shout release. No, 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 a release on a contract, a release on a property, a release. Somebody shall release. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Y'all sold? Tell me when you open up, you let me know. You're dead by Shandy, I see ya. Now, if you own the business or you are trying to start a business, you need to respond and get a praise on a tithe of that. Yeah. 
Somebody real quick, jump to your feet and shout, Lord, I thank you for the release. Now give him glory right there. Somebody ought to go ahead and praise him. We're closed. But somebody said, my God is about to reintroduce himself. I don't know what you're going through, but somebody ought to say, my God is about to reintroduce. about to reintroduce him somebody say neighbor he's about to reintroduce himself come on Somebody say he's about to reintroduce himself. Listen, we're closing. But can I get about five of y'all who didn't really, amen, understand it? Can I get about five of y'all today, man, and tell them, say, neighbor? That last thing that told me no. Tell him, I believe this word. Tell him, I receive this word. And tell him, say, neighbor, that last thing that I got to know from, I believe God is about to reintroduce himself to my last no. Somebody that believe it, open their mouth and give God a praise. got a problem with some of y'all some of y'all thinking that the last thing that told y'all no was stronger than God but I need somebody to declare it we are done but tell somebody that last thing that told me no that last person that told me no that last person that said I would not get it tell them God is about to reintroduce himself to my enemies if you believe it somebody just give God a good praise and a Amen. I know we got to have some people, amen, that's got to be spectators, but I'm going to sit up here and tell you, amen. Tell somebody, see me in six, tell, tell somebody, see me in five months. Tell somebody, see me in five months. And I'm going to say, I saw you there, but, but guess what? Let me reintroduce myself. Let me leave it alone. Is it all right if I pick you back? If it's all right if I pick you back, prophet. I need about five of you. I just said, I'm about to reintroduce myself. I need you to get some keys. Y'all ain't got, I said, I need somebody to get some keys and say, I'm about to reintroduce, God's about to reintroduce himself. Tell him, I'm going from renting to owning. Now y'all ain't saying nothing in here. I'm going to go, amen, from leasing to buying. Y'all ain't saying that here. And tell somebody, God's about to reintroduce himself. If you believe it.
We out of here. I don't know. I don't know who got shut down in that last relationship. But God's about to reintroduce yourself. Deuce himself. And that last person that left you. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He gonna try to ask, is she with anybody? Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. But God, amen, is about to reintroduce you to somebody that is worth it. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. God, yo, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone because they don't they don't understand it. Somebody don't want to shout amen, but when he shuts you down, I hear God said that when he shuts you down, you tried everything to get him back, but God said I'm about to reintroduce myself and give you a real and give you a real Boaz and give you somebody that's gonna have it, already have it provided. I'm gonna leave it right there. If you don't want to shout because you don't want nobody to think that you alone, just wave your hands or stomp. If you do something, move your pinky toe because I hear God said I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Somebody say them folks have too much church. Tell somebody it ain't enough. Not for what he's about to do. Listen, I'm, I'm leaving. We're going, we, got, we got two Christians. Amen. We got to do two baby Christians. And it's all right. We're going to take it, man, and take care of it. Somebody make sure, please, that I have the oil. Amen. You're going to anoint yourself, being that some of y'all are COVID. Amen. You know, uh, that, C, that, that COVID thing, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you want to anoint yourself. But come on, bring the basket. Those that didn't give, please. Amen. Come on, hold your hand up. You got your dollar, your five dollars, whatever you got. But I promise you, if you know how to sow, God knows how to reintroduce himself. And I received that word. Did anybody receive that word? Oh, Shada. If anybody received that word, said, I'm going home with this. That I believe that God is about to reintroduce himself to what told me no. To who told me no. And God's about to do it. Can we put our hands together, amen, for this prophet? <laughs> prophet, Pastor Daheem Kears. Can we come on? You can do better than that. Go ahead, Elder Walk. If, if they happen to give, they'll give. If not, God bless them, amen. We're going to go. Those, amen, that say, I want to sow, amen. As the basket is going by, you can sow. And we can hold God's, amen, word. Amen. To be truth and self evidence that he's able to do it on today. Can you put your hands this way to the man of God? Thank God for him. Thank God for his ministry. Thank God for his gift. Father, we're not praying, Father, not just for you to restore back unto him the virtue that has come out, but we're asking God that you would continue to release. And open more doors. That father. That he will set ablaze. New Jersey. Oh y'all not saying nothing in here. But God that you would pour it back unto him. Everything he takes and puts out. You'll give it back to him double. We pray for him and his wife now. And God we know that they will be in effect in the kingdom in jesus name amen thank god for the man of god listen come on i want to make sure amen that him and his family go upstairs and they're comfortable and i want those amen we have two two christians amen somebody come on and escort past them in the family upstairs we're, 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 we're done but listen i want to know amen if there anybody amen that's online and somebody that's here that's not saved that do not know the Lord for the pardon of your sins. That you can come today and give your life to the Lord. Everything that was said and done. God is going to do it. But if there's one that could come to the kingdom. The Bible says heaven rejoices for one. I ain't got nobody. But somebody amen that says. I want to give my life to the Lord. I'm going to rededicate myself back to God. And let him work. Let him work on me. If that's you today, can you just lift your hand? Somebody that may be online that says, I'm still praying for my son and for my daughter. 
what we used to do in the church of old we would get in the middle for them intercede on their behalf and say God I'm praying for my son or for my daughter I'm praying for my family today somebody needs to get saved somebody needs to get renewed again and God says he's married to the backside of somebody that backslid God wants you to come back to him today if that's you today I know we think that we got until tomorrow we got until we get old and we got until we retire but nothing is promised to us but today by this afternoon things could change and shift but we know a God that we can depend on that if anything happens I am saved and so heaven is my home if you're here today and you haven't given yourself to the Lord given your life to the Lord shifted I want you to come today with hands lifted you don't have to come to the altar because we know the moon but lift your hands give your heart to the Lord and just repeat after me father I come to you now as a sinner I come to you now acknowledging my ways but God I come to you and I submit myself into your authority your will and to your purpose you say that you gave your only begotten son for the remission of those that would believe for everlasting life so today God I come to you now and I call you my God I call you my Savior my Lord I give my life to you I believe that you went to the cross and shed your blood for me and because of that now I give over to you today I give my life back to you today and I call you my God if that's you today the Bible says by the confession of your faith by the belief in your heart the Bible says that you're saved and all you got to do is just gain a greater relationship with God by calling upon him in the time of trouble God will do it God bless you give the Lord a hand clap praise we're closed I have my phone listen for those that have need of a job we have a man information that if you want it we'll give it to you somebody that's in your house that ain't working some kids that need to get out y'all ain't saying nothing here some kid that act like they owned your house you gave them a little bit of you gave them a bedroom they act like the whole house is theirs but don't look like they know how to pay any bills I got some job applications motor vehicles is hiring 26 to 28 dollars an hour and if you can't deal if you can't deal with that then tough luck we learned how to deal with 375 huh and made it work I hear somebody talking about they, it's, it's, they don't pay enough you don't have enough you get some bills amen and then you can start talking amen somebody but the motor vehicles is hiring we got the applications you can go right online everybody else is in your phone put this in your phone the post office is hiring we got that too and the airport we got that three now if they, ain't, if they don't want to take any of those jobs something that you don't want to work then come on somebody Young folks, they may need to go to jo- go to work, and they need amen to start learning how to go out there and fencing for themselves. So we have applications. They can amen. We can get it from our phone, forward it to them. They can give it to others and apply for a job. Amen. 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 amen somebody, don't hate on work. Amen. I got two more years before I can walk out my door amen. at the Long Island Railroad. That's right apply for it come on give me the first we, we have two families so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take the small family first this, the, the other ones is big other ones is big amen but where, where, where's um let me see damien white where, where's damien white am i saying no that's a godparent come on damien white and michelle lee and carlos amen where, where are they at they here they here come on sir Where's the God baby at? I, I, I want the God, I want the, 
the parents please on my right hand and the godparent on my left hand side so this is the parents and the god where the, where the god baby at what hold on here I thought you <laughs> I know I heard about I thought she was going to be kept right there Amen. Thank God. Y'all can face me. God, turn the turn this way. There you go. These the parents, God parents, y'all turn. God, baby, y'all turn this way. We're gonna read the word of the, of the Lord. It ain't gonna be long. Amen. God's word simply says this right here about children being a gift, an awesome gift from God. The dedication of children unto the Lord is to teach them how to observe, how to take and to follow in the ordinance of God that the parents follow in. So we say to everyone that, that we do Christians, to you, sir, Mr. White, these certificates that we literally give, people don't explain it, but they are literally authentic certificates that the parents literally have signed over rights to you. These rights literally give you, God forbid, anything happens to the parents. You have more parental rights than the, God, than the grandparents and anybody else. This is how important it is. And so sometimes when we say it's, it's, it's a good thing that, oh, I'm going to be the